Guys, we're not talking right now. That's why you can't hear us. Farida, I we we are glad that you are here. If you can't hear, go get help. Tell mom to come and help you with your computer. Miss CK, give me a few moments so that I can contact Farida's mom. Um, before I was just going to ask, I was just going to ask Miss Bustani to do that, but yes. Yeah, I was actually going to do that. You know. Usually is sitting right next to her. Okay, so boys and girls, yes. please don't type anything in the chat. That's making it hard for Miss Cooking to see the uh, presenters. You don't need to type anything. You're just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show in about one minute. Okay. Afterwards, you can talk or, or type what you need, but don't type anything right now. Just relax and enjoy. So if you cannot hear, exit and then come back in. OK, well, we will go ahead and get started. Good morning, pandas, and welcome to our first semester award ceremony for the 2020-21 school year. I'm Ms. Cook King, the curriculum support teacher, and I will be the host for today's event. Here is an overview of our program. To begin the program, we will have our principal, Ms. Wallace, to give us the welcome. Next, I will give an explanation of the awards criteria. Followed by that, the teachers will present awards to their uh, students. And then to wrap up the program, we'll have um, the assistant principal, Dr. Smith, provide closing remarks. And so if you just All right, good that. morning, pandas. And thank you for joining our First semester awards day. Um, I'm the proud principal, Jovita Wallace, and I am honored to serve um, and celebrate these academic accomplishments of our young scholars. Um, this year has definitely been a different year and it has presented some new challenges and obstacles that we have to overcome. But I have to say the fact that we're here with awards uh, shows our resilience as a community and as a school. So today is a super one, a happy, happy, happy Friday as we are celebrating our little ones academic achievements. Um, and you guys, my scholars, we thank you so much um, for all your hard work. Um, it is impressive that during these unprecedented times we are able to celebrate you. Um, if you are having issues with sound uh and that in the chat they're saying parents if you're sitting beside your panda have them to rejoin and come back and we'll see if they can hear it then all right so i'm going to keep going i want to personally thank all of our families our teachers our staff our support staff for supporting our scholars and we want to make sure that you um 
know that we're proud of you and proud of all of your academic achievements. Um, most importantly, we want to welcome you to this award celebration and we are looking forward to continuous scholastic achievement because this is the beginning and I expect more and more and more scholastic achievement in the years to, go, to come as you are continuing on your path to ac academic excellence, um, career readiness, college readiness. Like this is the beginning of what we want to see. We want to see continued growth. Um, I really, really want to say thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, I want to just say that we are looking forward to your parent continued participation and engagement and support through this um, in the days to come and welcome. Now let's get started with these awards and celebrating our little ones. OK, and so now we will go over the awards criteria for each of the awards that the students will be receiving. So for our third grade students, in order to earn the principal's award, which is our most prestigious award, they have to have an A in all subject areas, including art, music and PE, which is physical education. Our next award is the honor roll award and students in third grade must earn an A or a B in all their subject areas, including art, music, and PE. The third award is our most improved award. This is given to two students in each classroom, one boy and one girl, who show significant gains academically. Our fourth award is the Perfect Attendance Award. An award, this award basically goes to both the students and the parents, because without the parents, the students couldn't get here on time every day. So this award is is really, really a great one. This is for all of the students who have missed zero days and have zero tardies for the entire semester. What an accomplishment that is. Our fifth award is our super attendance award, which is great as well. This one is given to students who have three or less approved absences and three or less tardies for the entire semester. Next, we have our citizenship award, and this is given to one student per classroom. And this student demonstrates excellent work habits and a really good attitude toward not just school, but also to their classmates. And then our last award is our Panda Participation Award. And this award is given to students who are working hard to achieve their academic and behavioral goals. So those are the awards that the students will be receiving today. To start our program, we're gonna have our classroom teachers present awards to their students. And so first up is Ms. Bustani. Ms. Bustani, if you give me one minute to spotlight you, I'll let you know when to start. Okay, take it away. All right, good morning. I'm Ms. Bustani and I will be presenting awards to my remote class. Um, so first step, first of all, I wanna thank all of my all of my students for working so hard to join school and participate even though they're at home right now and it's looking a little different so thank you for that um but first we have uh markenzie almond will be getting a panda participation award acery atkinson is going to get a super attendance award she has honor roll and a Panda Participation Award. Um, Taylor Benjamin also received a super attendance and Panda Participation. Naria Brown um, is receiving a Panda Participation Award. She has a super attendance award. She has an honor roll award and she won our classroom citizenship award for always being a good citizen, kindness and promoting the common good. <laughs> Kamila Bergman has honor roll and she has a Panda Participation Award for working hard. 
Kyrie Barnes has a Panda Participation Award. Our Connie Dill won the Principals Award. So congratulations to our Connie for that. Ulysses has a Super Attendance Award. Ulysses Collins has a Super Attendance Award and a Panda Participation Award. Casey Greer has perfect attendance and a Panda Participation Award. Kyrie Harris won a Super Attendance Award and a Panda Participation Award. Patrick Howard is on our Honor Roll Award and our Panda Participation Award. Jayla Jackson won a Panda Participation Award. Jasmine Jackson has Super Attendance, Honor Roll, and a Panda Participation Award. Farida Jaji has Perfect Attendance, and a Panda Participation Award. Jace Jones has Perfect Attendance and an Honor Roll Award and a Panda Participation Award. Lamar Morales has Perfect Attendance, Honor Roll, and a Panda Participation Award. Sadie Sanders has Super Attendance and a Panda Participation Award. Kelsey Smith has Honor Roll, Super Attendance, and Panda Participation. Um, Mariella Saintville actually won our most improved award. So congratulations, Mariella. She also has super attendance and uh, panda participation. Liana Thomas has panda participation or er, uh, super attendance panda and panda participation. Azaria Turner has a Panda Participation Award. Um, Cameron D. White has our Most Improved Award. He has Perfect Attendance. And a Panda Participation Award. Cameron E. White has perfect attendance, honor roll, and a Panda Participation Award. Treasure White has perfect attendance and a Panda Participation Award. And Devontae Williams has a Panda Participation Award. And Janaya Worthy has a Panda Participation Award. Good job, guys. Thank you so much. You guys all worked so hard last semester, and we are almost done with the school year. So I need you guys to give it your best for these last nine weeks. Thank you, Ms. Bustani. Nice job. And next up, we will have Ms. Hunter. She will be presenting award certificates to her students. So Ms. Hunter, give me a moment and I will make you a, give you a spotlight. I'll let you know when to start. Guys, if you would not post in the chat, it makes it difficult for me to get to my spotlight feature, please. <laughs> I know you're excited, but wait till the end, please. All right, Mrs. Hunter, you're all set. 
Okay, hi everyone. I am Miss Hunter and I will be presenting the awards for my wonderful third grade class. Um, first up, we have Valente Jones with the Panda Participation. Do a quick way to have people. <laughs> and next up, we have Jaden Sampson who has been awarded Panda Participation. Come on down, Jaden. Yes, uh, come say hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, and next we have Eon Walker for panda participation. Congratulations. Another way people okay. <laughs> Uh, Jamari Souder, Panda Sub Participation and a Super Attendance Award. Congratulations. Hi. <laughs> and next we have Kamari Gale yeah. with our Panda Sub Participation Award and Super Attendance Award. Come on down, Kamari, get your award. Say hi. Okay, never mind. Next, we have Kylie Burnett with our Super Attendance Award and our Principal's Award. Come on down, Kylie. Baby, come on. Say, come here, come here. In case she wants to get a picture. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hold it up, hold it up. Okay, go. <laughs> All right, next we have Lindsay Nicole Overton with our Principal's Award and our Citizenship Award. Congratulations, Lindsay. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, we have Jakari Griffin with our Most Improved Award. Congratulations. All right, congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, third grade. Thank you, Miss Hunter. And next up, we'll have Miss Jones Lang's class um, have awards presented to them. In Miss Jones Lang's absence, we're going to have one of our EIP teachers, Miss Reese, do the presenting of the certificates. Give me one moment, Miss Reese, and I will spotlight you. Okay, you're all set. Okay. okay, good morning. My name is Mrs. Reese, and I have the pleasure of presenting the awards for Miss Jones Lang's third grade class. I'm sure that she is so very proud of every single one of her students. So without further ado, we have Kendarius Artis. So Kendarius Artis is receiving the Panda Participation Award and the Most Improved Award. Congratulations, Kendarius. Come right here. Good to see you. All right, thank you. All right, next we have Destiny Austin. Destiny Austin is receiving the honor roll and the Panda Participation Award. Great job, Destiny. Come on, see her. Come stand right here. All right, next we have Xandrian Curry, Super Attendance Award and Panda Participation. Great job, Alexandrian. All right. Um, next, we have Michael Fortson. Michael Fortson is receiving the Honor Roll Award and also Panda Participation. Congratulations, Michael. All right. Next, we have Kanaya Griffin, who is receiving the Panda Participation Award. 
Congratulations, Kanaya. Okay. Um, next, we have Xavion Harris. Xavion Harris is receiving the Super Attendance Award, the Panda Participation Award, and the Most Improved Award. Awesome job, Xavion. Jarrell Hayes. Jarrell Hayes is receiving the Honor Roll Award. So great job, Jarrell. Come on up. There you go. Good job. Oh, I'm sorry. One more, um, Jarrell. I'm sorry. Jarrell is also receiving the Super Attendance Award and the Panda Participation Award. Awesome job, Jarrell. Michael Hurd is receiving the Panda Participation Award. Okay, and he is absent today. Evan Nichols. Evan Nichols is receiving the Honor Roll Award, the Panda Participation Award, and the Perfect Attendance Award. Congratulations, Evan. Awesome job. Come up here. Okay, there you go. Good job. Okay, next. Jalen Strickland is receiving the Panda Participation Award. Great job. Shiloh Teal is receiving the Honor Roll Award and the Panda Participation Award. Congratulations, Shiloh. And last but certainly not least, we have Marcus Zachary. Marcus Zachary is receiving the Honor Roll Award, the Panda Participation Award, and the Citizenship Award. Great job, Marcus. Okay, so um, those are all of the awards for Miss Jones Lang's third grade class. Great job, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Reese. And next, we will have closing remarks by our assistant principal, Dr. Smith. Hey, hey, good morning, give, Pandas. Give me one second, Dr. Smith. Give me one second. I'll spotlight you, and then you can get started. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. Good morning, pandas. Good morning, students, and good morning, parents. Uh, first of all, congratulations uh, to all of our third grade students. Let's give ourselves another round of applause. Good job, students. Um, students, I want you to know that you have done the impossible. You have conquered a mountain um, by continuing to learn during everything that is going on. Um, as Ms. Wallace said, we have been going through obstacles and challenges, but you have not wavered one bit. You continue to learn and you've made honor roll, uh, most improved, and you have been participating. Please continue. Um, 10 years from now, you will be maybe 18 years old and you'll look back and you'll be able to share um, your your testimony with your college friends, maybe you're going to the military or just starting your career, you'll look back on this and say, hey, I remember when I was in third grade, I had to learn differently. I had to learn at home on a computer or I had to learn behind this glass shield. But guess what? I kept learning and look where I am today. Students, please continue to learn. Parents, you are the true MVPs. Thank you so much. I know that it's challenging as a parent myself. I know that it's challenging during these times, but you have ensured that your students come to school every day face to face of virtual learning and you make sure that your students learn every day. So let's all continue to uh, have that tenacity, move forward, continue to learn, and we will all be great on purpose. Now let's all have a peaceful, positive, and productive day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Smith. Boys and girls, please don't log off. Although this concludes our award ceremony, we have a special announcement from our parent liaison, Mrs. Freeman. She has another um, 
a closing remark that she would like to give to us. So please hang on one second. Ms. Freeman? Yes, ma'am. Give me Good one morning. second. Okay. And I will spotlight you. Yes, ma'am. Well, while you're doing that, I just want to say congratulations, third grade, for your awards. We are so amazingly proud of you all. We miss you all that are at home, and we cannot wait to see you soon. Um, this is for my parents that are in this um, meeting. I'm going to keep talking for the sake of time. Um, my name is uh, Ms. Tamika Freeman. I am the Brookview Parent Liaison, and basically what my position is, is to work to bridge the communication between home and school by helping our parents uh, receive the information needed as well as different supports um, to ensure our students academic and social success. So with that in mind, I'm about to do a shameless plug. Our Literacy Week and Spirit Days are coming up next week. It's a week full of fun activities, uh, literacy-based activities, and we have theme days to go with them for all learners, virtual and face-to-face. -face. With that in mind, I'm gonna share my, oh, I can't share my, oh, yes, I'm gonna share my screen very, very quickly just to update you guys on something. Are y'all able to see my screen? Yes. Awesome, guys, we're going to have our parent literacy workshop next Thursday, March 4th at 6 o'clock p.m. through Microsoft Teams. Here you will come and learn some different strategies as well as a variety of programs uh, such as Mayan. I'm sure you've heard of that um, thrown around and we're going to go in depth with Mayan so you all can also know what our kids are doing as well. So that's one of my plugs. I'm sorry guys, well I have you all. And our spring input meeting is coming up on March 17th. This is where we discuss our school compacts. I'm sorry, that's the wrong screen. But this is where we uh, discuss our school compacts and things that you all would like to see uh, maybe in the building. There is a survey link that I'm going to share in the chat with you all, and we will really appreciate your feedback. It is very, very important um, for our school. Additionally, want to share with you all our Brookview YouTube page as well as our, um, there's our Brookview web page. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime you miss a parent meeting or one of the parent workshops, they are uploaded to our Brookview uh, YouTube page under virtual parent meetings and virtual uh, parent update meetings. So you all will be able to have those meetings with us as well. So. If you did not know, this is our Brookview website. We keep it current and up to date. So please uh, check in with us and we keep you posted. Ms. Make sure Ms. you're Freeman. checking your class dojo. Miss Freeman, we're not seeing the website. You might have to share, stop sharing and reshare. It's OK. I put the um, link in the chat. I apologize. OK. So just wanted to share that information with you all, and we look forward to working with you all as a, as a Panda family. Once again, congratulations, third grade, and it's back on you, Ms. CK. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Freeman. So this concludes our program. The students that were trying to chat earlier, this will be your time. If you'd like to go ahead and put something in the chat, you can at this time for your teacher and your classmates to see. Thank you for attending. Thank you parents for your time and commitment and again the videos including our black history program will be on our YouTube page. All right, Ms. Cook King, we're going to go ahead and end the meeting and we'll stop the recording. Pandas, uh, make sure that you log back in for Ms. Bustani's virtual class. Um, and I'll